the idle game, once we get Minecraft set up, uh, we're going to go go ahead and move forward with that as well. Uh, also, with website updates, uh, Fox got some, some big ticket items done today uh, and for over the last few days. Uh, he remade the How to Buy page with a more descriptive step-by-step -step walkthrough. Uh, we have privacy and cookie policies now. Uh, the, the front page, the market cap and the burn rate is now automatic. It'll pull every 15 minutes. Uh, we're still working on a solution for holders, but we are working on getting all of the stats automated so that you guys can see real-time changes. Um, and he also rewrote some of the back-end features to be uh, more efficient and, and load faster. So a and lot coming up. Do, yeah, a lot coming up. And right now we are we do have uh, another team working on the idle game. Uh, that's falling underneath Thomas's department and uh, our, you know, some of our DevOps guys. So they're right now going through and uh, creating the schedule around that. Um, now, in terms of uh, what, el what else, what else is going on? I mean, from the business side, actually, it's my turn now. Uh, so from the business side of things, uh, got some great news. Uh, Bibi, we're moving forward with Bibby Palm. We understand they're a smaller exchange. However, they're willing to work with us on some very, very innovative stuff. Um, not going to go into detail there because we're working through that process. Um, but I can announce that we are working on a Dogecoin Safe Moon pair. Um, uh, the idle game, we, once we get- uh, Safe Mooners, we like Ooh, Dogecoin. Boy. We're, we're not ever gonna hide that. It's a great, we like it a lot. So, you know, in that spirit, we're moving forward with the Dogecoin Safe Moon pair. We're working through that process. Um, also, another big announcement, uh, Whitebit is imminent. I can't give yes! you the exact date. Yes! Yeah, boy! So, yeah, yeah. So anyway, white bit is imminent, guys. Super excited to tell you that. Keep keep a watch on the Discord. Keep a watch on the Twitter. We're gonna have some stuff dropping about that here in the next week or so. So, um, <laughs> yeah, super excited. It's been it's been you're a roller coaster. Yeah, you're killing you're killing me. You're killing us. Come on, bro. <laughs> we want to know what's going on. We want white bit, and we want it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh so it's imminent guys we're we're super excited um what else is going on so uh a lot of stuff a lot of stuff's in the works so we're also going to be uh you know uh, updating giving more specific information on the roadmap um so right now my department's currently working through that in conjunction with uh with uh thomas just to clarify thomas's position he is the cto um of safe moon so he handles i mean he handles all the technology so um yeah so we're I'm working through that right now yeah he's he's the blockchain nerd yeah. you know yeah so um <laughs> yeah super excited uh all right so for this uh this next segment we as we do in every ama we start we compile a list of the most you know asked questions and we're going to read through it and answer it for you guys and then after that we're going to take comments and questions from the discord uh trevor where are we taking the questions from the discord down by the, uh, let me pull it up. If you go down on the, I'm actually gonna move it because nobody can ever find it. I'm gonna pull it up into the, cause we're underneath the international channels for some reason. The AMA questions are going back up to the top um, by main chat. So I'm moving it there now um, as soon as it actually moves. Um, but yes, there will be an AMA channel text channel it says ama questions it's got a five minute slow mode so you can't spam your questions um so make sure your questions are typed correctly the first time um it is now directly under main chat in the text Great. channels in discord so hop in there and ask your questions we're going to be pulling from there as well uh, i'll also be watching the twitch chat uh for any questions that are not answered either from there, from the Reddit, or from the initial questions that we've compiled to answer, so. Now, just for the format of the questions, just so it's easier for me to see, please put in capitalizations, question, then a colon, your question followed by a question mark. And that, that'll make it a lot easier on us and a lot easier on me to quickly read through, uh, through those after we get through these frequently asked questions. So, all right, let's kick it off. So, um, Hank, I'm going to read the question, and then uh, we'll kick it off to whoever's department it falls under. So first question, what is going on with the audit? That's my department. So great news. 
Uh, Sertic is going to be doing our audit, signed the contracts, and paid them. So, woo! Super <laughs> excited for that. You know? Um, yeah, so they're, they're starting that right now. So when we get more information on that and when it's released, we'll drop. You guys will know first. Check the Twitter. Always be checking the Twitter. If you're on Discord, please check the announcements. Um, the next question that was asked, and this is more of a, I think it's going to be fielded towards Thomas. Um, and maybe Hank, you can answer it a little bit. But the question is, uh, is there a concern that PancakeSwap is not going to be able to index the 150,000 now plus wallets and apply the burn back correctly? Um, Hank, take it away. Yeah, um, really, there is, we have not had any concern raised with PancakeSwap not being able to handle the number of wallets that we have. Um, the transfers that occur into the burn wallet happen through the contract. So it has nothing to do with PancakeSwap itself. So we should be able to, to have that happen with no fault. Uh, it, it has nothing to do with PancakeSwap. So you have nothing to worry about in that regard. Great. Great. Thomas, yeah. do you have anything to add to that? Um, yeah. I mean, we, we haven't heard any concerns about whether they would be able to support the amount of holders we have. But currently, we have more holders than Cake does, which is <laughs> huge. <laughs> huge so um I, I don't think that we have any concerns i think we'll probably reach out to pancake swap and then we'll, we'll get back to you guys on that one particular thing but um we don't yeah, have, they have nothing concerns. to do with the burn mechanism we're fine yeah, yeah yeah we got no concerns we're fine um all right going on to the next question uh is there a way to transfer to a cold storage wallet without the 10 percent fee i'm just going to quickly answer that unfortunately no safe moon is its tokenomics so um, anyway, moving on from that question, uh, let's see, where, where do we got here? Uh, are there any updates for the use cases for SafeMoon from last week? Um, I, I could, I'm going to field that question. I'm going to answer it. Um, so right now we're working on the SafeMoon app. We're working on the idle game, we're working on the Minecraft server, and we're working on the, do I have, was that all of them? Am I missing one? SafeMoon app, wallet. Minecraft server. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So right now that's what we're working on. Um, we have some big stuff in the works. So please keep checking Twitter. We'll, we'll be dropping some bombshells on you guys here over the next few weeks. Um, but right now that's what we're currently working on. Yes, there's going to be use cases. I mean, this is already a use case of itself. The t look at the tokenomics. Safe means fantastic. So our primary concern right now is, is ease of use. So yeah. once we tackle ease of use, then we can tackle more use cases. We're going to make it as easy as possible, onboard people, and then, yeah, go from there. Yep. Also, uh, also with that, uh, just as a convenience factor, uh, I did talk to uh, some of my buddies who are very good with Discord bots. Uh, once CoinMarketCap has the API fixed up so that we can actually uh, use more features from that, um, the website, and we'll have uh, more Discord bots that will give you more information with that as well, like a price bot and the users panel, et cetera. So we're yep. working on improving all of our, all of our, you know, web All features. of our infrastructure, yeah, yep. yeah. Okay, all right, so um, I'm gonna pull one of these next, actually, you know what, I'm gonna pull a question from the chat. I'm gonna pull a question from the chat. All right, sure. give me one, oh yes, Ben, go. Just saw one that said, uh, is there going to be any more media bombshells like the Jake Logan uh, tweet that happened? <laughs> uh, I don't, I think media bombshells, probably the wrong word. Are other people going to clue on to Safe Moon being the right way? Absolutely. Um, can you help do that chat in terms of making people aware of Safe Moon? You've all got Twitter. So, yeah, that answers that. Yep. Perfect. Love that question. Thanks for the answer, Ben. This is, I mean, yeah, I, I have nothing else to add to that. So, and on. Sorry, one more as well. One more as well. Uh, do you think it'll have a negative impact of uh, Safe Moon being uh, listed as a meme coin? Who said it was a meme coin? This is a serious operation by some very, very clever individuals behind this coin. Um, no mistake. Understandable. Doge has its place, but um, Doge, Doge also has the richest man in the world behind it. Uh, Safe Moon has the cleverest people in the world behind it. I don't yep. know. Is that going to impact it or not? But Safe Moon's not a meme coin. Get that straight. Cool. Yeah. Next one. Frag on, John. Awesome. All right. So we're going to go back to the uh, the frequently asked questions. Uh, all right. 
I actually I've already answered this one. Number seven, guys. It's uh, when do you plan on updating uh, updating the roadmap and the white paper with more detailed information? We're working on that right now. Um, so Thomas is working through his technical process so he can give more uh, exact estimated timelines. I'm working through my process on the business side of things and contracts, yada yada yada. Anyway, we'll have an updated roadmap. Um, what do you want to say by this this coming Thursday? Roughly about this coming Thursday, depending on how things go during this week. So. That's that's what we're shooting for. We'll have an updated roadmap by Thursday, so that that's the goal. Um, but yeah, we'll provide for more information on that through the Discord and the Twitter um, if if more information arises. All right, let's. Oh, Ben, do you have a comment? I uh, no, but great answer, John. Yeah, sorry, I just <laughs> saw your little thing light up. Okay, we're good. Concentrate, my bad, bro. <laughs> uh, you're John, good. You're good. John, um, you skipped number five, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> let's see okay yeah well that's that thomas loves difficult questions well i don't think this is a difficult one it's a pretty easy answer um okay. anyway so lay it on me there has there has to come a time when bur the burning of the coins has to stop at how many number of coins would you stop burning and keep the circulation at a constant figure Okay, yeah, this is something that we've talked about at length in our other AMAs. Um, technically, over time, it's only, it, it's a 10% fee. So as people use less and less, you're not going to really really notice much of a difference as far as the the fee now and the fee later. They're, they're not going to go out of sync. So as there are less and less in circulation, um, people will be using different balances. I was telling the guys um, not too long ago, that the days of trillions of tokens um, will soon be behind us. So I, I don't have a specific date when um, that stuff kind of comes to a head, but um, we're gonna, um, we'll, we'll visit that later. Yeah, Just for right now, we've got some time to try to figure out, maybe, maybe we do some happenings in the future, um, maybe not. Um, so we're gonna check it out. Yeah, hopefully that answers it. <laughs> just, to, just to interject real quick, I see a lot of people putting it in the t uh, Twitch chat. Uh, they think the Minecraft server will make us unprofessional. It, it is just one more aspect to keep the, the community together and involved. And, you know, a lot of people like playing Minecraft. A lot of big influencers, you know, they like playing Minecraft as well. So it could also help, you know, further our reach. As well as, you know, just give guys something to do while they're sitting in the Discord all day looking at the price bot, you know? <laughs> it's just something extra that we can give to you guys. It's nothing, it's not taking away from the development. Uh, it's just, you know, one extra thing that we can give to you guys to enjoy. Yeah, look, we put it to a vote and the community voted. Okay, and so I was gonna say the important thing about what Hank's saying is that, you know, so as much as this is about, you know, again, safe moon to the top and doing all the right things to help safe moon uh, develop, whether it's in apps, whether it's white bit, wherever it is, um, there's also gonna be, you know, events around this and we are human and you are a community. And we believe that having a community together, we should be having fun as a community. We've all come here for one reason. We've all got one thing in common. We wanna see safe moon succeed, but what are the things we have in common? And that's how you make friends. Well yeah. put. 100%. 100%. Um, yeah. So with yeah. the Minecraft server, you know, as 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 he said, this is something to bring the community stronger together. So this is this is great. Um, but we're going to move on to the next question. Uh, Hank, uh, did I skip any other ones? No, you're good. OK, all right. We are going to move on to number nine. Um, Let's see. Now that you have momentum, what's your marketing ideas? Ben. Well, now that we have momentum, what's our marketing ideas? Um, I, I think at the moment, you know, word of mouth is really important that we don't, and we know we don't swear on this thing, uh, that we don't mess around for F with word of mouth. Um, that we don't mess around with word of mouth because at the end of the day, it's doing its job. And a lot of you guys out there are doing the job by passing on the idea. However, moving forward in future and, and you know where how does safe moon explode how does safe moon go further well 
you know, the old days traditionally of billboards and on the sides of buses have gone, you know, especially the way we experience things. So for us, again, I said it last week and I'll say it again, you know, the first thing we need to work on and that we are working on, we encourage all of you. We see a lot of people making images of how to purchase SafeMoon or how to get SafeMoon, what does SafeMoon do, etc. Education is key. Education from day one is key and education on day dot will still be key as well. So if you guys can help us with as much education as possible, educating other people, you might see people tweeting saying, what is SafeMoon? You're in this together. It's not one marketing machine where it's like, oh, you know what? We're just going to rely on me to go tweet about SafeMoon or anything. As much as I'm, guys, I am absolutely here to tweet about SafeMoon. You can see that. Um, and I can spread the word to my friends, etc. But it's about all of us together getting involved here and actually spreading this word at left, right and centre, helping people, maybe just letting people know about it. Don't force it on anyone. It's about if they want it or not. But essentially right now, we haven't, we're not leaking any plans about what we're actually doing, but anything that we are going to do uh, is, is crazy big, crazy big, crazy stupid. And Hank won't understand it. Tom won't understand it. John definitely won't understand it. No one's going to approve it, but I'll make it happen. Watch this. <laughs> Watch this space, boys. Safe moon. Hashtag safe moon. That's what it is. Hashtag. And I want to see every put every time. I would like your tweets. If I see hashtag safe moon, I'm liking that tweets. You spam those chats with hashtag safe moon. I love it. I love it. Secrets. All secrets, uh, John. Just it's just all. to interject real quick. Uh, I'm aware that the website is going up and down. I'm working on it. Uh, and no, the IP was not leaked. That is literally just the NGINX uh, version number. It means nothing. So, yeah, I'm working on it. We had, uh, in the last 20 minutes, since we added the Twitch embedded to the website, we had 12,000 hits uh, since we've uh, announced that. And I'm guessing everybody trying to load that at the same time um, uh, nuked Fox's back in. So we're working on it. Showing too much love to the site. I, I mean, I love it. I mean, a lot of love on the this site. Is, this is what crypto is all about. You know, we want to reach new audiences. We want to get out there. We want to show people the way. And I think that our approach right now is is really important for the space. So for all you guys who are sitting here with chat, showing up to the, all the the AMAs, all the support you've given us, it's that's that's pushing us forward. I think this is really really amazing community. Hundred percent. I think I know as well. Well, Tom, Tom, what you just said about that being key, bro. People turn up to the chat. It, it is turning up for that meeting and. You know, you're not just having the tokens, guys. You're not just being. It's more. It's more than just having the coins. It's about turning up and being involved in this community spirit. I see a lot of people in the Twitch chat saying, "Ban the other coins. Ban the other coins." There's a reason they're there, here, guys. There's a reason the other coins are spamming this chat because you need this community. You don't have this community. You don't have the love here and because you guys have turned up for this. Look, what you're attracting. You're attracting the trash, and you're attracting the great, and you're the great. Hundred percent. We're not we're not worried about those other coins. We're not. We're the other tokens. So we're here for you guys. Um yeah. hundred percent agree. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm not worried. It's I I actually had a talk with uh SafeMoon Dev this morning about that, because uh, like six or seven more propped up overnight and I was like What look at all this. He's like, I know it's crazy and I'm like, Well if we have this many imitators, that means we're obviously doing something right. Yeah, so bring on the copycats. <laughs> One of the chats, Ben on drugs. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, it's called being pumped in life. It's called being pumped oh, yeah. in life. Uh, all right, so we're going to move on to question number... Number 11. Okay, do we have a time frame on when we'll be able to use Bibby Pump? It's imminent, guys. It's imminent. So we're just working through their process. Um, there's paperwork involved. As with anything, there's paperwork involved. So uh, just getting through the paperwork. But they're working on their end right now to prep a runway for when SafeMoon's ready to be integrated. So the runway's being built. We just got to land the plane. So imminent, my friends. Imminent. Okay. Um... I think that's it for the uh, the the FAQ. Let's let's go ahead and start fielding questions. I'm going to be in the uh, in the in the Discord. Uh, Trevor, do you want to look at the Twitch, and then we'll start fielding questions from there. So, all right, I will start off with the Discord. 
Yes. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, question. All right, actually, whoever has a question first, either you or me or uh, Trevor, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll answer it. Currently, uh, the Twitch chat is being inundated with, oh my god, spam. So I'm, uh, I'm currently actively moderating that while trying to check out for questions when they pop up. Uh, somebody's I'm trying to help you can tell too. us uh, <laughs> tell us a bit more about the Doge pairing. Did we go? In, I don't think oh, we went okay. in depth I'll, I'll enough on, on that. that. Fair enough. So the Doge pairing is that on an exchange, you're going to be able to trade Doge for SafeMoon instead of needing to go through all these crazy steps to get a hold of it. If you've got Dogecoin, you can get SafeMoon when we set that up. So we've confirmed today that um, it's with Bibipom, right? Um, that that's that's the pairing that we're gonna have over there. Yeah, it's it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> huh, oh, on so I more people into the space. Yeah, got it. Got another question. Um, when can I cop a Safe Moon hoodie so I can flex on these folks? From Memes <laughs> for Savages is the handle flex name. On them. Soon, soon. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's that's an interesting question. I think just ask in the Twitch chat because I'm not watching the dip, but ask in the Twitch chat or any chat. Are you guys interested in um, grabbing yourself a Safe Moon hoodie, Safe Moon joggers? You know, is that a thing? Is that something you guys like? You know, are you Safe Moon loyal? Is that in your blood? If it is, then sue. Next 100%. one. Okay, let's see. Okay. Hey guys, let's let's save the AMA questions for questions, please. I'm having to sift through it. Let's see. Um, just a real quick one. Um, people have been asking me all day about the clone of like clones of the website. Uh, our only website that we are you know is officially ours is .net, safemoon.net. Anything else? Don't pay attention to it. And we're submitting DMCA's on anything else that is malicious. So we're on it. Yep, we are actively taking them down. 100%. Okay, uh, okay so this is more of a uh, information for everyone. Uh, Salty Llamas uh, asked, when will Q2 happen? Q2 is the term for basically uh, the year is separated out into four quarters about every three months. Well, no, it, every three months. So we're in March. Q2 starts April. So, and then add three months, that's when Q3 happens, add three months, Q4. So we're about to start Q2 and we're uh, we're gonna get rolling on those Q2 items. Let's see. Are you still getting these questions from Twitch, by the way, guys? Or where are you getting them from? Just yes. so I'm not interrupted. I'm, I'm yeah, reading them I... on Twitch and he's reading them from Discord. Uh, if you see one that spikes your interest, grab it. <laughs> uh, one that was quite cool, guys, is um, does Satan have any future plans for any sort of charitable donations? And I know you guys have been looking after some sponsored animals, etc. And funny enough, it seems to be the joke in the, the chat between the guys every day. What, you know, Tom wants to sponsor a giraffe or rag does or someone wants to, you know, or we want to sponsor a hedgehog. So at the moment, you know, one thing we all have in common, which I'd hope, you know, is we, we all have furry friends. Or we all have animals. So just depends you know you know you guys let us know what 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 animal should we look after next i say the whale but there we go you know <laughs> we're gonna need some whale conservation if our community keeps eating them in the discord the way that they do so uh definitely I, definitely I swear, required i have never seen it like anytime a whale sells you guys just fucking pounce on them <laughs> i yeah i've never seen it in any other community do you guys do ruin the whales, actually. As soon as a whale sells, it's just like, oh, we're going straight back up. We should definitely sponsor a meerkat, though, or something like that. Definitely. Just yeah. weird. <laughs> An antelope. I don't know. Anything. Also, uh, the Cambodian whales is still a thing that we are pursuing. So um, as far as charitable things that are set up, that's also in the line. Yep. Just, just to okay. add. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, kind of answer a, a generalized question. Uh, when it comes to pricing and pricing predictions, 
we will not ever comment on that. We're not financial advisors and we're not allowed to comment on that stuff. So we're not going to be, hey, this is what we think is going to happen or we think the price will reach X. We're not going to comment on that. So thank you. Let's see. OK. Oh, so uh, somebody asked, Sertic is moving through the process. When we can release it, we'll release the third party audit. Lots of I, NFT questions as well. They yeah, just so, they're just saying NFT, NFT. So I'm trying to figure out what the actual yeah. question is here. We don't have any anything new to talk about NFTs, but our intent is to move into the NFT, uh, NFT space responsibly. Uh, we want to do this the right way in a way that makes sense to you guys. Um, but I think that's for right now all we have to talk about. Nothing new. Trevor, you seen? Oh man, I'm, I'm watching the Twitch. It's getting spammed. That's All what right. I'm saying. We're, we're I'm, I'm, I'm trying to moderate that say, it with questions. With it's, cold, it's so many question questions. Colon. So many questions going through. I just saw one saying, um, uh, after listening on Whitebit, uh, do, do you plan on listening on more and how soon uh, at exchanges? Obviously. Well, that that depends on the growth of of this. So right now, we're we're our growth is amazing. You know, exchanges are taking notice. We've had some of them reach out to us. We can't comment on which ones, but we are talking. Right now, the plan is Bibby Palm, White Bit, Bitmart. That's that's what we have going for us. We're starting the talks with other ones, and, uh, and you'll recognize the name when we're able to give an announcement regarding that. So we're talking to them. A lot of, lot of different exchanges, they're coming to us. They see the value. Oh, Ben? I think the question is, John, are, are we talking? Are we talking to some major ones, John? You know, we don't have to say any names, but are we talking to to, to some major, the top ten? Are we talking to someone? We are. We are talking to. We are That's talking it. to some. Yep. That's enough. Sick. Okay. Um. Let's see. Will you be able to purchase SafeMoon with Fiat or just Dogecoin on the uh, Bibi, is it? That'll be up to the exchange, yeah. depending on how you onboard to the exchange. I don't think that we have a, a good answer for that one yet. Yeah. But we know Whitebit and Bitmart have Fiat on-ramping. So yeah. when those imminent releases happen, um, or those imminent integrations happen, then you'll be able to do fiat on ramping with them. So. And we'll have a whole new campaign on how to buy. <laughs> <laughs> More education coming out to you guys. A on, whole on new infographic. Ooh, I've got a really good one. We'll be updating the white paper to include the team. Um, typically, a white paper is a um, it's a non peer reviewed um, technical document. So one of my plans after we get GitHub squared away and our, our development is progressing uh, well with the app, then I'm going to be taking a look at the white paper and some other things um, right after that. So ex expect a white paper update with more math, um, just kind of explaining how everything works. Really like to get with our, our community math guys. Uh, if you're a math buff, shoot me a message. I need you uh, because we'd like to do some modeling around the tokenomics and show people how it works. Oh, I have a really good question, and this is uh, this comes in. Uh, the question is regarding anonymity with some of the developers and some of the team. Um, so those who have shown our faces and who have doxed ourselves found it OK and safe enough for us to release our identities. But that is a personal choice for each person on the team, and we're not going to force them to come out. But as you can see, a lot of us already have. We love the community, you know, there are some, uh, but the issue is there are some people out there who uh, who have less than good intentions. So, um, specifically with some of our, our some of our team members, in their personal lives, they don't feel comfortable to dox themselves yet. Um, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the question on to you. Are you willing to put your name and address out there on the internet? So I mean, it's it's a personal choice with each individual person, and that's that's how we want to keep it. Absolutely, John. You can just Google me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you willing to do that? <laughs> exactly. No, 
a privacy privacy is the one thing you should hang on for to, to for dear life because once you lose it it's gone you never get it back yep right and, and ben doesn't know anything about that <laughs> 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 oh god yeah yeah and then a person said me more of a media fun one um ben do you plan on going logan paul's impulsive show and discussing safe moon no but i'll definitely text him hashtag safe moon after this live sweet all right um one for hank here uh what is the safe moon idol game it's come so, up like 12 times <laughs> so essentially it we're we're trying to find like cool little things that that we can do with the community, such as like the Minecraft and the Idol game, and uh, it's going to be based around like you know you grow your own universe. You know you have your central safe moon planet. You know you build it up, and then you go get more safe moon planets. You know uh, it works the same way as Idol games. Like once you hit a certain point, you can prestige, you get a bonus, you do it all over again. Uh, we're going to hold tournaments to see, like, uh, you know, every season who's the, who's the top winners, like, who's, who's the top competitors in the game. Um, and then we'll give out prizes and awards to those top 100, top top 10, whatever the community votes on. But we'll give away, like, Safe Moon, maybe merch, you know. We'll, we'll switch it up. But, you know, we have, we have a lot of plan, uh, a lot of stuff planned. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Can I ask a question here, guys? This is one yeah. to you, not just from the audience, but I just saw it in there, and from myself as well. And I think it's a good, again, education. Someone said, um, you know, <laughs> obviously they're behind a little bit. They say, why not just list it on white bit? Uh, you know, why do we not just list it on white bit when people, you know, we're having to educate so many people on Pancake how to buy it. My question is, along with this question is, you know, when it goes on white bit, is that going to be straightforward just to click and buy Safe Moon uh, instead of going through this whole grueling process of address and percentage swaps and blah, blah, blah? You know, are we going to get an experience on white bit that is just like crypto.com or Coinbase? We just, is, that, is that the idea behind this? And, you know, is that what we're heading for? So I'll field this question and then I'll pass it off to Thomas for the more technical stuff. Um, <laughs> yes. So the reason why we don't only go with white bit is because our community is not just based over, you know, outside the United States. Whitebit doesn't allow U.S. customers. So we have to, we want to cater to everyone across the globe. And that's what we're working towards. You know, we are a worldwide community of people. And so, yes, we're, we're integrating with Whitebit um, and Bitmart so we can integrate with the U.S. customers as well. Because each, each country has their own laws and regulations and each uh, exchange has their own way of working within those laws. And so, yes, uh, we're not going to, well, no, the answer is no, we're not only just going to list with white bit because that would exclude um, some members of the community. Oh no, sorry to change that. Is it easy to purchase it on white bit? Once it's on white bit, is it literally just buy the same sort of uh, user friendly you'd have on any other platform? Yes. That's Thomas, if, yes. Thomas, if you want to elaborate on that, yeah, sure. So um, onboarding to any exchange, you're probably going to have to send something into it. And then after that, you'll be able to trade um, on, on that exchange. So as far as the UX is concerned, it's it's going to be a normal white bit experience. Um, I don't want to um, elaborate too much on that because people will start flooding them when white bit, when white bit. But um, soon, soon TM. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I... I'm seeing a lot of people asking, like, what what's going to happen, you know, on the technical side? Like, are we are they going to support our tokenomics? Um, from the gate, we have them exempt because they're in a single single wallet, and what we don't want to do is put them in a situation where they can't list it because um, we weren't able to support them in that way. But they have spoken to us about in the future um, supporting our tokenomics. So for now, that's the best that we can do, and I think in a lot of cases. You know, we can't please everybody, but we're we're doing what we can to find a good middle middle ground there. And and I'm gonna I'm just gonna elaborate on that and I'm gonna field another question to you, Thomas. Just sure. because you correct me if I'm wrong, just because you buy it on Whitebit doesn't mean you can you can't transfer it back to the decks to take advantage of the tokenomics. Am I right? Yeah. 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 So you can exit um but as soon as you exit exit the Whitebit um little ecosystem they have there, 
you, you're going to be back to normal. So at, if you're holding on an exchange, you're not going to receive reflection. You're not going to, you know, that's not how that works. But um, yeah. So essentially, Tom, anybody who's right now in Trust Wallet, for example, is uh, getting the gains of token uh, economics, yeah? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, they would new users to jump on board and get white bit, or, you know, they would still be able to have that plus feature if they took the jump to someone like Trust Wallet and gain that, yeah? Mm, yeah. Yes, and, and I've, I've got a good analogy for this. So, you know, when you go to a store and you buy, let's like a chocolate bar or something, you don't leave it, you don't have to leave it at the store. You can take it out of the store and bring it home with you. So when I say you're taking it home with you, you're taking it back to the DEX. You're taking it back to your trust wallet, your MetaMask. And then you can take advantage of the rewards there. White Bit's a store where you can use Bitcoin, currency, you know, whatever currency you're using that White Bit supports to buy SafeMoon. And then you can transfer that SafeMoon from the store to your wallet outside. So, yeah. This is very typical exchange stuff. I'll be in both Trust Wallet and White Bit for me. Awesome. When? I don't know. Maybe you can let us know, John. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Very soon. Maybe. Imminent. Hashtag safe moon, but imminent. Imminent. So be watching the Twitter, be checking the Discord. It the It's imminent. So. So uh, there was a question about how about Coinbase? One of the copycats is already on it. Um, Hank, you got that one? I, I can answer that. Um, I just looked. Uh, they're not listed. That is a that is a very key aspect to, to remember. It's not listing. Their price is on there, which anybody can do. Our price is on there as well. So you can go to slash price slash safe moon and it'll tell you our price in the last 24 hours or year or whatever so they're not listed uh we will 100 percent be listed before anybody who else who, who tries to copy us not that i think they'll ever get to that point because you know we're the fucking moon so <laughs> sorry hank are you saying are you saying that the uh prices current of the price of our safe moon is currently listed on coinbase though it is posted on safe or on coinbase you can see it if you go to coinbase.com slash price slash safe move that, that, that's that's can, incredible that's an incredible move forward there to even have safe on coinbase should say to everyone look, to show that just to show that people are recognizing this hank and i think that is that is the point to take out of this away from everything for god's sake we're talking about but i correct me if i'm wrong thomas is it the number one, number two, number three biggest platform in the world right now, you know? So, wow, that's a, that's a celebration there for everyone. You should, yeah. Take that's that huge. Away. There's no yeah. negative. Thing. We can even Coinbase is showing the price of Space Moon. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Big deal. Big deal. Yo, Rag, you should put that link in the chat for people to see that. I got it. Um. I've been asked uh, by one of our community uh, members here. He's a wonderful dude. Um, helps out with the Reddit. Josh the Moon Man. Um, he's asking if I could expand on what happens with the white bit and the 10%. Um, so we, we've exempted um, their their address that they're going to be using. So they, they pool all of the, the safe moon in there. And they'll be managing balances outside of the chain. Um, so as far as transfers that happen on this layer, it's not going to the that ten percent isn't going to happen um, from us. Um, I'm not aware of you know if maybe they have fees on their end. Um, that, that'll be a white bit thing. But as far as for for right now, um, before they start supporting the tokenomics, um, that that's largely exempt from this. So in the end, what you're going to see is ownership of Safe Moon shuffling around, and then when those users exit white bit. Um, there, it's it, it's ta it's tax city again. So, hopefully, that kind of expands a little bit about it. But in the future, that they'll be supporting us. Yep. Hundred percent. But remember, you can always take your safe moon from the store and bring it back into the ecosystem to take mm -hmm. advantage of safe moon's tokenomics. So, it's it's. Everything's possible here. So, um, Trevor, do we have another question from the Twitch? 
I'm actually typing out the answer to a question at the moment. I'm not even going to type it out at this point. Uh, it was another question about if we would reasonably hit 0 0.01 and no, it has been brought up multiple times. We are not financial advisors and we cannot answer any questions about price speculation at all. Any. Yep. Okay. Now let me find you a better one. <laughs> <laughs> but we do like safe places and moons. hundred percent. Uh, when SafeMoon Wallet arrives and we transfer funds to a real wallet, will we have to pay the 10% fee or how will we be able to transfer our tokens? All right. So I'll, I'll take that. Um, so the the difference between a safe SafeMoon Wallet, when, when we go and launch it, it'll be a real wallet. Um, but the, the tokenomics will remain in place. Um, you will take a 10% fee for transferring between addresses. Unfortunately, that's just how it works, and I don't want to mess with that. So hopefully that answers the question. <laughs> yep. Let's see. Man, this this chat is blowing up. Hold on, try to pull a question. Right. So to the, the multiple people dropping through about Coinbase and uh, a copycat token on there that is listed, uh, it's not listed. You cannot buy it through Coinbase. You can see its price, um, much like you can see our price, which I've linked. I'll link it again even just so you can see it. Um, ours is also on Coinbase where you can see the, the price, just like theirs. Um, but you cannot buy it there. And there's the link. One more time. <laughs> Someone said, uh, what do we think about international markets uh, taking on um, uh, SafeMoon? Well, the whole world is welcome to SafeMoon. So if there's anyone living on Mars that wants it, crack on, man. Moon, wherever, crack on. SafeMoon's for everyone. SafeMoon is for everyone. Even your dog and your cat. <laughs> Especially your dog and your cat. Oh, um, oh, I've got it. I just pulled up the Reddit real quick. Um, so the 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 Sertic audit um, is being done now. You know, where we sign the contracts. If you look, if you re rewind back to the earlier part of the AMA, we cover this. Um, but it's going forward. Uh, however, that's that's separate. The the exchanges we've already talked to have accepted what we've provided them. Um, it's past their their expectations, it's their requirements. So as I said before, white bid is imminent. White bid is imminent. Even before a, the Sertic third party audit is completed, they already valued us and they liked us because we're a fair launch DeFi token. And we've been doing everything with transparency. They, I mean, they're probably watching right now and we're happy about that. <laughs> Um, hi guys. Yeah. Hi white. Hi white bit. Please, everyone, do not spam them. Please do not spam Don't them. Spam. You know. <laughs> it's Leave them alone. Yeah. Let let them let them do their job. Let them do their job. Um, but no, it's it's imminent. So we're all, we're getting the Seratic done because you guys wanted it, but that hasn't affected our our uh, our current uh, partners when it comes to getting listed. So. Uh, one there uh, for you guys, uh, maybe John or, or Hank or Tom. Uh, I'd like to ask when you guys are going to uh, essentially update the website um, in terms of the roadmap, etc. I think the problem, if I'm correct, is that the roadmap is outdated the second it gets uploaded because it's just done, <laughs> done, done, done. But uh, on a serious talk, you know, John, Hank, I, what, what, I know John, what is going on with that? Because you know, even I'm like, Jesus Christ, you, you're nailing everything. You're nailing yeah. everything. Right. Yeah. So. so uh, let me the, let me uh, let me uh, let me feel this the this first little part uh, this part Hank and then I'll pass it on to you. Is that okay? No, no problem. Yep. Cool. Um, all right. So yes, we're smashing the roadmap out. You know, ahead of schedule. I mean, from day one when this when we when Safe Moon was launched, we're already in Q2 of what we were where we were supposed to be. So we're ahead of schedule, and so we're updating the roadmap right now. I want to tell you we are working on some rather large stuff. And that's what we're trying to flush out with those very, very large uh, items. Um, once we have more clarity on that, that will be that's actually going to affect the roadmap again in a very positive way. So we're working through the roadmap. We're, we're, our goal is to get an updated roadmap by Thursday um, and then provide that on the website. I'll give that over to Hank 
Hank will get that on the website and you guys will be able to see the updated roadmap. And likely we're going to have to update it within a week again because we're going to smash those time limits. So. Right. So when we did uh, put the new website live, uh, we we updated the roadmap a little bit while we were working on it and it's already out of date. Uh, we updated the white paper to be much more aesthetically pleasing than the the old PDF. Uh, but even that, you know, we, we, we're we still tweaking it as we go along. Uh, so so everything that, you know, we, we do on the website, we do it as we as we work on it. You know, uh, we're going to continuously update the website for the next years, <laughs> forever, you know. Uh, so as soon as we, we get something done and, you know, we we have it secured and confirmed, then we'll update you guys with those things but you know we don't want to put something on the the roadmap you guys see it and then it doesn't come to fruition and then you burn my house down so yeah oh we'll take your cat hank one of the two. No, no 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 you're not allowed to take my cat i'll burn with the cat okay i'll burn with the cat there. <laughs> uh also uh, i, I oh, did see a uh, sorry uh, sorry didn't mean to cut you off just talk to just talk to bibby palm um, great news! Day one, from day one, launch with Baby Palm. They're gonna have, they're gonna keep the tokenomics. Whoa! So, and they're are, they're hey. already testing that internally right now. They're already Sweet. testing that internally right now. Second, um, they're working on a Dex to centralized exchange hybrid system, so it's just better integrated with the uh, the current holders and the new holders who who come on board. And then we're right now planning, and this is subject to change. We're right now planning on a USDT uh, uh, trading pair, a Doge trading pair, and a BNB trading pair uh, on their platform. So great news, guys. Great news. So we're really excited to be working with them. Wow. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Yep. Well, as you I said before, what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As I said before, we're, uh, we're, we want to innovate with them, you know? So this is this, we re we're really looking forward to this uh, this, this partnership with them. So um, yeah, hashtag safe moon. This is great. Sick. <laughs> awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'd like to address something with Baby Palm. Yeah. They're brand new, so they're they're new like we're new, and that's okay. What we want to do is, I mean, we, we're going to lift each other up. We're going to find a good way to make sure everything is is settled and, and fine. Yeah. 100%, 100%. Actually, I would say they're, they're, they've they're got a little bit more age on us. They have a little bit more age um, than us, actually quite a bit more age on us, but right. yeah, <laughs> we're super excited to work with them. Um, we love their team. Uh, yes, we understand they're new, um, but uh, after talking with them, we were very comfortable and it's, it's we do think it's a, it's a good, it's a good partnership, so. John, hitting something, yes. hitting something on the head that you haven't planned on talking about on this, but you know, just something that's in the chat everywhere, and I don't want to ignore it. Is there, you know, future plan, whether short or long term? Is there a future plan to be on Binance? Is there a future plan? You know, just ask me. Yes, oh. we would love to get listed on Binance, um, right. and I'm sure they're watching this stream, and I'm sure they're taking note of uh, what SafeMoon is doing in the crypto space. Great. So, so we're uh, yeah, and and definitely flooding John with questions like when Binance is a great idea. Oh, what, bro? <laughs> yeah, no. If, if if you get on the Discord and consistently D him him when Binance, I'm sure it'll happen. Terrible idea. Faster. It's not gonna make it go any faster. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I I would personally love to see uh, Safe Moon on Binance, uh, obviously Coinbase, but I'd also like to see on something like Kraken. I'd love to see that because um, mm. I just like I just like their shiny app, uh, even though there's at least twelve options on there. Um, <laughs> and I'd also I'd also love love to see it on something like Crypto.com. So I think all of us are thinking the same things in the chat. Um, it's not that it's not going there. It's just Jesus Christ, these poor guys. They work twenty four seven, day and night. You know, I play Valorant. These guys give me an update. We're doing good. That's the end of it. So. You know, they, they're getting there, guys. They're getting there. And I think, you know, we'll give, give them due credit that they brought you this far. So have all the confidence they're going to bring you further and take you onwards and upwards. 100%. We're here so, for you guys. Uh, I've gotten a lot of DMs and uh, people 
asking me about a certain article that was written five days ago that says safe moon tokenomics incompatible with exchanges and you know everybody keeps oh what's going on why isn't this working well i think uh, our answer think with answer. pippi palm is we just <laughs> we just proved that's wrong so you don't have to you don't have to believe everything you read um where we are working on innovating uh, and expanding our tokenomics to to different heights. Um, and if there are exchanges that are incompatible, we're gonna knock those walls down. You know, if if, if we have to do it, we'll fucking take a sledgehammer to <laughs> to whatever we need to. We will pave the way and get Safe Moon wherever we need to be. Our goal, yes, our goal is to innovate in the space. To to Thomas, not a very technical question. Not a very technical question, but a simple one. Can you update the uh, Safe Moon logo on? Uh, is it Coin Coin Mark Coin? What did they? Think? I can't remember. Coin, coin Market Cap. Can we update it, Tom? Is that yeah. going to be a different one we'll, to do? We'll update that. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> and just to jump off it, what you guys were saying before. Uh, a lot has changed in the five days since that article was written. We've already shown that, yes, it five days ago, exchanges weren't ready for us. And now, yes, they can integrate us, and they are. So. 100%. So, um, all right, I'm going to go back to the Discord and uh, find another question. John, how do you feel? How do you guys feel about hitting the 150k holders? Pretty Dude, wild, that's, yeah. That's wild, yeah. Um, Dude, it's hard to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I'm like, oh yeah, we've hit we've hit 130 thousand holders, and then I somebody's like, nah, man, we're at 150. I'm like, I blinked, I looked away for one second, you know. <laughs> no, it's super exciting. We're really happy to see the Safe Moon community grow. Um, remember, Safe Moon is a token for everyone, uh, and that's that's our end goal is a Safe Moon token for everyone. We we are definitely definitely going to sponsor a couple of whales at a million holders, surely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Celebration <laughs> and call one 100%. Thomas on. Oh, I saw a good one. Uh, will the five T Safe Moon? What will the five T Safe Moon be used for? We address this a number of times. This is probably going to be the last time I answer this question, um, but that's used for development costs ongoing. We've got hosting costs we need to do. Developers are expensive. Marketing um, costs. Marketing costs. Developing Every de development, marketing, um, uh, infrastructure. Um, yeah, anything that a normal business would be need needing to pay for, legal, yep. that sort of thing. Yep. Audits. So you know. see one that somebody keeps spamming i'll just i'll just nip it right now uh can you explain why this is not a ponzi scheme why is this a ponzi scheme it's a uh, fair launch we it's a fair launch and we've disclosed who we are you know we would yeah. i we wouldn't have done that <laughs> yeah hey thomas do you want to answer that question yeah yeah so we've got the dx sale fair launch um, our token reflections happen when people sell. So if you transfer, if you move things, then there's a token reflection. It goes towards supporting the, the PancakeSwap LP, goes towards supporting um, active holders, but the ownership of the tokens doesn't constitute ownership of anything. So uh, the, the, these tokens themselves, it's, it's far removed from what a Ponzi is. I have no interest in that. I don't hold any. So I don't benefit from any of this mechanism, and a lot of us don't. Um, and we have we have a company wallet. Um, that's it. So we're gonna be here forever. I'm not. I'm not fucking going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one one question that keeps popping up, and we've answered this quite a number of times, is uh, why is the Safe Moon Protocol Deployer Wallet cashing out? Uh, well, it's not for himself. It's for business uh, expenses. You know, we we have to pay for well, things. Yes. Such yes. as the audit that we just paid for. So anything that we cash out is is going toward the benefit of SafeMoon. You don't have to stock the page every day. I, we're, we're being very transparent that, you know, 
it takes money to make money. It takes yeah. money to progress. That's just the simple you know, way that it works. Yep. What is the truth? <laughs> what is the true... What is the use of bringing shillers like Ben Phillips besides this social media use? Absolutely nothing, but I make a good cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that was that was the uh, the interview process. It's like, how, how's uh how's your tea making skills? And you're like, look, I'm like, oh, whoa whoa whoa, I'm sorry, didn't mean I didn't did not mean to insult you. I'm like, all right, uh, he's in. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Conor McGregor on this guy. Absolutely <laughs> fucking nothing. Don't don't. <laughs> 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 I think one thing that I have myself is to say that you know, look, I, I've I've done my own thing for the last five six years, you know, and um. When, you, when you're doing, you know, YouTube or you're doing Facebook, it's about reaching audiences and reaching people. And um, I think we can all agree that you want me to reach more people with SafeMoon. So, 100%. Yeah, answer next. Yep. Uh, one question is uh, for Trevor. Uh, oh. What is Ragnar's role? Oh, I mean, that's easy. He's the uh, yeah. he's our chief community manager. Um, but Ragnar, you can go into more of what of what you uh, what you do. So. Yeah, you. Uh, I field the eight billion DMs I get a day, uh, <laughs> and hang out in main chat and price discussion that got recently renamed uh, technical analysis. So if you were looking for it, that's where it is. Um, we figured it was a better name. Uh, do that Twitter, Discord, Twitter, and Reddit uh, mostly at the moment, and I'm setting up the YouTube. So yes. Uh, and you can always DM me. Mine is always open and always online. And if it's a question I can't answer, I will get it to one of them very quickly. So that's what I do. Yep. Okay. Uh, so we're going to answer three more questions and then, uh, we're going to conclude this live stream. Um, but anyway, so let's, let's make these some good ones, guys. Some good questions. Oh shit! Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll answer this one. This is this is a, this is a question near and dear to my heart. Hundred percent. Pineapple on pizza. Don't hate me, but I don't like pineapple on pizza. Whoa. Not a fan. I d d Sorry, but I I just I, I, I do it. Cthulhu don't. would want this. And I just dump it on there. I love <laughs> I love pineapple on pizza. Call me an know. alien if you want. I don't Bro, care. No pineapple on my pizza. Yeah, you. And pineapple you on pizza me. here. But yeah. I don't think you guys heard me. I said all the pineapple you have. Yeah, we're going to have to argue about this after the stream. That's what disgusting. Goes on I'm with John on this one. <laughs> 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 Some of these questions are so funny. I'm gonna cash 500 billion safe money if I eat one more pineapple pizza. It makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll I'll leave that alone. <laughs> oh, well, there's a dip. <laughs> yeah, but um, we eat whales for dinner, right? So you know. Yeah, yeah, we do. So yeah. whales on the menu. Um, all right, so uh, will okay. Somebody asked, will you be able to buy merch with SafeMoon, and have you considered premium features uh, in the upcoming app, which are paid with SafeMoon? So we're working through what what's going to be best for the community in terms of the uh, the SafeMoon app. Um, so right now we're we're building out those feature sets and uh, working with our DevOps guys um, through that process. Um, but yeah, so we merch coming soon. Um, keep an eye on the Twitter. Keep an eye on the uh, on the website. So. Um, and we'll 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 work in more integrations. That's that's definitely on the horizon. I, I think so. the merch's best home is definitely going to be on the website. Um, it yep. just makes sense, guys. You want an easy experience, and Shopify just provides the yep. best merch experience in the world. Trust me, I'm a professional in merch. <laughs> so, um, and I think Hank's been working on the Shopify side of it, and it's just it's just simple. No one wants, to, no one cares, no one wants to mess around. Do they, you know, those days are gone. Yep. Yep. Oh, I've I've got a good one. This is a very simple question. What do you guys feel about scammers? I'm going to give you my personal uh, my my personal opinion on this. I think scammers are probably the worst pieces of shit 
that I've ever come across in this space. That's not what we're about. That's not what we're here to do. We're here for adoption. We're getting the word out into new communities. And we're going to teach them about crypto. We're, we're going to bring like hype for the space back. We're inject new people. So fuck scammers, man. I'm not. No, that's not why I'm here. I've, I've based my whole career off of just supporting the space and I've been doing it since 2010. So let's let's keep that train going, you know, like fuck scammers. And you guys that have nothing better to do than to sit in here and fud us for over nothing. We're we're hitting all of these problems one by one. So fudders, if you've got hard questions for me, I encourage you shoot me those shoot me those messages. I'll answer you. So I've got nothing to hide. Anyway, yeah, true. <laughs> I have a tropical right. storm outside right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, on 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 that note. Um, let's. We're going to go ahead and conclude this stream. We really appreciate everyone. Uh, uh, I hate the word tuning in, but uh, hopping on the Twitch and uh, hopping in the Discord and uh, chatting with us and letting us field, you know, field your questions. So, um, on that note, we're going to go ahead and conclude it. Trevor, if you want to go ahead and uh, end the stream. So, thanks everyone. Sounds good. Thanks guys. See you guys all later. See you guys. Uh, what Tuesday? Uh, Tuesday. We'll have another one up and running. Make Same sure you time. get your questions in and. Uh, We'll see you guys all then. Cool. So. See you, everyone.